What's up? Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm joined by a very special guest. Um, his name is Officer Arkham. Uh, we are the Brown People Police. Hello, Officer Arkham. We're gonna clean up this wild town. That is that is absolutely correct. There's some wild hooligans that look just like me, and I can't stand for it. I'm done with the, I'm done with the racism, the hypocrisy, and the and and the thirst traps. They come here to our country. Take our jobs, take our thirst traps. Why, why is my voice crack? <laughs> For those of you that know, I covered this TikToker named Avanish, who um, is very much like the Joker of Brown TikTok. He hates women that aren't white or Latina. He hates his own race. Very questionable stuff. Okay, but I've been uh, receiving lots of DMs from people that want me to cover other brown TikTokers that not necessarily are <laughs> as bad as Avanish, but still make questionable content, some being racist, some being just cringy. So today, me and Officer Arkham are gonna uh, go through because we, you know, as brown people, I feel like we have a say in like what helps our community and versus what harms it. If anyone that works with TikTok is watching, um, please give us the power to ban people on TikTok. I feel like that power would be used uh, very well if it was in our hands. I, I think I think we're the most deserving people on this planet for the TikTok ban feature. Please, can we have it? Thanks. I don't think there's a duo out there there that is um, more deserving for this. Yeah, for I completely this? agree. Yeah, a cab, except for me and Arkham. So for those of you that don't know, on TikTok, there are like sub TikToks where like, if you like specific things when you're on TikTok, it's gonna feed you more of it until you're in this small like niche community within that specific thing. So there's a sub niche like community of brown people on TikTok. And the three creators we're gonna be looking at today are three of the bigger creators on brown TikTok. And the first dude I, I have, his name is Bai Farzi, and he just loves to use Indian stereotypes for the punchline of his jokes. Love that, absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with doing that. Right, Arkham? Indian stereotypes? Shove it in my fucking veins. Nothing else I like to see in this world. Butter chicken. <laughs> uh, the convenience store. Taxi drivers. Yeah. Sometimes we smell a little bit. I want it all. I want it all, dude. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to go through a few of his um, Indian stereotype TikToks, just so um, you guys can get a, an understanding of the type of content he makes to get views. It, yeah, it's it's solely to get views. There's no other underlying motivation here. If you would think maybe it is to like better the brown community, you'd be wrong and you'd be stupid and please kick off this video now. Bro, I'm fucking starving. Dog. What do you want to get? Bro, let's get some Korean food. Korean food. I'm yeah. feeling Indian food low-key. Bro, are you Indian food? Do you really think that I want to eat some... <laughs> Oh, but you want me to try some fucking... Nah, see, that's funny. That's funny because the Korean guy made a joke at the expense of the Indian guy, and then the Indian guy made a joke at the expense of the Korean guy. Oh, I get why it's funny. It's funny because it's, you're making fun of your friends because that's funny. Yeah. Wow. And the thing is, it's you don't even have to try because that's what content is now. You just open your mouth and then you can just put a some something else. You can put some some audio behind you that will make you funnier. You don't even have yeah. to say the joke no more. Like there I feel like back when like Vine was a thing, like King Batch would make like racist jokes, but like he put like effort into his racist jokes. This is just like nothing. <laughs> like there's no if, effort. If you're going to be racist, all. put some effort into I it. I know. Please. At least put some effort into it, please. And also like if you're hanging out with your friends and your only form of like humor is just being racist, I, I'm sorry, but you're just you're not funny. You just don't know how to be funny. Nah, Saji, that's all you. That's all you, dude. That's all you. It is. It's hilarious. You know what? You know what? Can you in post? I'm just going to open my mouth and instead of actually making a funny joke, just put some like Dave Chappelle clips behind my mouth and <laughs> okay, that'll okay. make me funny. <laughs> Look at the comment. What about Mexican food? Like beans and rice go together. You know what I mean? What does that even mean? I see it as almost like all these comments want to be like included. So it's like the next time you stereotype us, can you please in include Ecuador? I'm, I'm, I'm lo <laughs> sending love from Ecuador. <laughs> sending love from Ecuador. <laughs> Let's 
It's the same joke again and it's again. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And I love how not only did he have to be racist to his own people, he also had to be racist to black people to make the joke about Indian people. He was really in the drawing board before recording this TikTok, and he was like, what do black people wear? That's right, sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, he, he couldn't was, actually that... do anything else, otherwise it would be really racist. Yeah. This guy Gavin says, I saw that one coming. Yeah, I think that really sums it up. I watched two of this guy's TikToks, and there's nothing else except that so far. Yeah, so one one other thing I've, I've come to find out is that this guy is very much like anti-Avanish. -Av if you haven't watched my two v v v videos on Avanish, he's very anti-Brown, but it isn't in a joking way. It's actually very, like he actually is. He's very like subconsciously anti-Brown. But the fact that this dude is going after Avanish for, you know, being anti-Brown, even though his jokes are anti-Brown themselves, just shows the hypocrisy and doesn't really make any sense. Like, just do something else, please, dear God. Oh, holy shit. Saji, I think, like, instead of throwing me, showing me three TikToks, you just showed me the same TikTok three times. Like, that <laughs> yeah, might, it was the same might have been, fucking Is that a mistake thing. on your end? Like, holy shit. I don't, I don't get why TikTok is promoting, like, this form of content. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's so clear. I don't know. And I know his audience is, like, only white people, which makes it worse. That's true. I didn't even think about that. You're literally right, Saji, because what I'm thinking oh, I know. now, what, hap <laughs> what happens with this? What I'm thinking now, after you said that, what happens with these TikToks, white people probably send his TikToks to brown people and go like, hey, it's the fucking, the Indian song, you're Indian. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. Song, I, I can imagine, like, some brown kid in high school just enjoying his lunch, you know, whatever, and white kids come up and like, yo, it's you, look, you're Indian, can you sing the song? Like, that's just happened to me so many times in school at, like, how popular these get. I can't imagine how often that happens now. Yeah, like, that happens, like, all the time. Like, I can imagine, not speaking for personal experience, here but like white people coming up to you and being like yo sing the song sing the song and then you get up on the lunch table and then do a whole dance routine and sing and then win the hearts of the white people and then you feel a little bit like oh what the fuck why did i really do that did i really just do that to appease white people and then you look yourself in the mirror at night go like wow i'm a fucking piece of shit not that i've ever done that but like just like, happening. <laughs> if you're watching this uh rz i just i gotta let you know dude that like this content can be used as a dog whistle for white people to be racist to Indian people. It very much is like that catalyst that makes people think it's okay to make these jokes if you aren't Indian. And like, it's one thing if like, I don't know, you make these jokes behind closed doors and you are Indian. Like, that's one thing. But to to have this much of an influence, like this video has 765,000 likes. Like, that's fucked up. Or do you think he watches his videos every time and just dies? <laughs> like, he's the only like, one who finds this is funny. fucking so good. Holy shit. I just fucking struck gold again. How do I do it? <laughs> They're gonna get a kick out of this one. And if you look at the, the comments, like, bro speaking facts can confirm it's true. That's not, it's not true. They they always Physically, say I don't that. Think that's like true. what? <laughs> yeah. Like what do you mean? Like what? Like wh when have you walked up to an Indian and he's like they sing that song like bar for bar, yeah. word for word, same, <laughs> yeah. like like what? Oh hey Saji, I heard you're Indian, right? Um, how's how's what's that like? That's, that's really cool. Like I love the culture. I really want to learn more about it. They always say that, dude. They always say that. A lot, bro, man. It's, a been lot. Amazing, bro. Yeah. it's been amazing, bro. Oh sure, it's Diego. Oh shit, bro, Diego. Dude, nice to meet you, bro. Oh my god, you're the guy with the sk the Walmart skits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Wait. Oh shit! You're that guy who does the Indian voice, huh? Wait, what Indian voice? The the fucking. Dude, you know what would be such a good idea? Instead of me doing the Indian song. You I do get a it. white person to do it. <laughs> I can't even Im imagine going like, yo, um, I have this really cool idea for a video on TikTok, completely original from any of my other content, except for me doing the Indian voice. How about you do it and make fun of me for doing the Indian voice? His boys in the back. <laughs> Farzi, how do you fucking come up with these oh ideas, dude? Oh my god, Jesus. Farzi, you're a creative genius. Hey, what is goody, my gang? What is goody, my gang? Hey, how's it going, partner? What is crack a lacking, my dude? Yo, what's good, gang? <laughs> this guy has almost 2 million followers on TikTok. You know that's two more, two million more than I have.
Saji, look at me in the face. You think he's funnier than me? I mean, he 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 can do the the accent, you know? Like when he opens his oh, mouth, the sound fuck. comes out. You can't do that. You're right, man. Fuck. He's why why am I trying to compare myself to Farzi? <laughs> he's the fucking best impressionist ever. I don't know. Fuck. Like, how are you gonna be racist to Indian people and black people? Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, black people, right? Yeah, black. Um, black people one. use guns. So my impression. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I just, I don't understand. So he does address the hate in this TikTok. So let's see what, what he says, oh. if he apologizes. You know, it's not like I've already on, seen this Farzee. video, but. We're, we're, we're rooting for that. We're rooting for you, Farzi. Oh, but also you can like see what sound he used in the, in the, like, okay. down here. <laughs> what the fuck? So, what the shit. I, I think I get it now. Like, I think I get why people are saying that I'm setting us back like us brown people back centuries and and I just wanted to say like from the bottom of my heart if you guys ever got offended like I'm really sorry do you guys forgive me okay um what I meant to say was I don't think I've ever hated I think, I... one person more <laughs> I think the issue is like he doesn't like because there are a lot of comments like calling him out being like yo you're setting us back entries like but I guess he's just seeing it as like an overreaction when in reality like you're perpetuating this micro aggression that isn't helpful to anyone like sure it doesn't make things 10 times worse like we're not gonna be yeah. like after you make this joke like you know the br british aren't gonna go back to <laughs> india and be like yeah you guys are mine again all because of farzi like that's not gonna happen obviously farzi but at the took same away our independence again yeah. damn it farzi <laughs> fuck you farzi yeah it's definitely like the, not the most heinous thing out there but it's just like a microaggression and we all know who finds this funny. White people yeah. find this funny. So far as he's like, man, if white people find this shit funny, I'm gonna run it up while I can. Yeah, it's really, really dis disappointing. Okay, so he does make other content. No, Saji, dude, don't don't say that. Don't yeah. lie to me. So this this dude makes other content and i he wish was. i could say it was more high effort um but now i see why he reverts back to the old indian like song joke all the time because he just doesn't have anything to run yeah it's it's all reliable for him so this is one of his like normal joke videos that like he comes up with and thinks is funny so let's see let's see if it's funny can't believe she said yes to this date <laughs> damn Ugh. Life is good. A little too good. Your mom died. Uh, God here, by the way. Uh, sorry I had to do it. Um, but you were just having too much fun. Uh, but this is good character development. Bro, does he like... Was this like a cry for help? I don't know. I, I feel like tiktok has kind of put us in a place where we're, we're putting less effort into content now like this could have easily been like a skit um because like the idea itself could be funny if done well right but it's like all he did was like add a voiceover of god being like oh yeah now your mom's dead yeah i'm just like I'm, like before i was like i was like against farzi and now i'm like honestly feeling bad he just gets like these fucking random voices in his head by the way your mom's dead also your, your car's getting towed your car's getting towed right <laughs> now by the way you want to go check that fuck <laughs> I, I hate when I can like know things because I'm fucking uh, telepathic. I know when everything happens that I don't actually have to like watch it happen. Relatable moment. So relatable. I feel like his his content is like the video version of like top text, bottom text memes. They're just very <laughs> yeah. like. Oh Thank God, it's Friday. Like, yeah. <laughs> when you're not supposed to get homework, but then the teacher gives homework. <laughs> oh. Yo, Farzi. No fucking way! What is up, bro? Do we just do no? We just don't ever do stand up. Whatever you do, <laughs> just don't. Could you imagine him doing stand up? I, I always wanted to try a comedy routine, so I'll do it right now. So there I was, right? See my homeboy across the street. You're gonna love this one. Yep. Dapped him up. Two seconds later, tongue in his mouth. You guys, you guys made out after you dapped up? Yes, yes, yes. Gay is funny. Oh, it's a gay joke. I gay love joke. gay jokes. That's for you, the lesbians in the back. I, I see you. Uh, okay, I can't watch any more of this guy's content. This is Farzi. You know, his like low effort racist content is, I feel like I can only watch so much of it. But this was the first guy 
I wanted to look at. Out of the other two, he's the worst. Uh, the other two guys don't perpetuate like racist um, stereotypes. But one thing that they do have in common is that they do also make low effort videos. So let's let's check it out. Cause one thing, this life, living as a cop for 20 years has taught me, you could take away the bad from the guy but you can never take a, the guy away from the bad. One thing I've learned about being a sheriff around these parts is like, you can take the, the, the racist out of the guy, but you can't take the guy out of the racist. All right, so this is the next guy we're gonna look at. His name is uh, six foot nine Kuju, and um, he's six foot nine, as it says in his name. Um, that does so happen to be his only personality trait, unfortunately. You know, you, you said six foot nine, you said? Oh, yeah, 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 six so he, foot nine. Six, six feet, and then there's like nine inches on top of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, like, it's good. we can't make fun of him. Yeah, you're right, fuck, he might beat the, beat the shit out of us. Okay, so this dude's content basically consists of gym slash motivational slash thirst trapping, and I actually had some people reach out to me and say he's the reverse of Anish, which is interesting because wouldn't the reverse of Anish just be like the best human in the entire world? <laughs> like, like, I feel like Avanish is so bad that if you were to be the reverse of him, there would be nothing wrong with you at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably like Avanish is on one side and then like, like Mother Teresa or something like that. Would be the <laughs> yeah, opposite. Exactly. But yeah, this guy doesn't necessarily like do anything inherently wrong. It's just like cringy TikToks. And um, he has like a, a few posts that are a little bit like, eh, maybe you shouldn't say that. And he actually has a partner in crime who he makes a lot of content with. And his name is Kenny. And they actually, they made this video together, which was very questionable. This was like the one TikTok I saw from Guju that just like was sort of like, okay, maybe you shouldn't say that, but let me show you. Okay. So they're on top of a building looking down on the peasants like the kings that they are. And the the text says, the older you get, the more you realize Punjabis are really the Latinas of brown women, which is just like, why are we creating a like hierarchy of brown women? It's like unnecessary commentary that can be harmful to brown women. Why do we want to be divisive? Why can't we love all brown women the same? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Two bros chilling on a fucking roof, talking about unnecessary race dynamics. Can't get better than this, dude. <laughs> like, what is this fucking weird race, racial game that they're playing? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, right? But I love how, like, the the way the, the shot is set up is, like, they just came across the most profound, like, statement ever. Ever. <laughs> the most profound truth ever. They just, they just came up with this formula. Yeah, Punjabis are really the Latinas of brown women. Latinas are brown women. Latinas are brown. <laughs> God. And what do you mean the older you get? The older you get, you realize <laughs> Yo, Punjabis what? are really... What? That's just one of those truths that you really just get when you're a little bit older. You guys will... You'll, yeah. we're just, the thing is, dude, we're just a little too young. We don't Sorry, understand yet we're because we're not... Because we're not next year yet. We have to wait till we're we older next, by one year. We have next year. Then we'll get this. Then we'll then get I'll, this. Then I'll come back and be like, yeah, they were right. The, the Punjabis are really the Latinas of brown women, whatever the fuck that means. And how did they come to this conclusion? I just I just pictured them like inside their house. They have just like fucking corkscrews and fucking like maps set out and Venn diagrams and going like <laughs> this race, this race, that, that, that race, this like string on a fucking map and shit. But yeah. <laughs> the video has since been taken down since we recorded and Goodju has apologized. So that's good. Let's just hope he doesn't make the same mistake twice. So this is more of like an inspirational post, not necessarily for the gym or anything he's just trying to educate men on how to properly treat your girlfriend and i don't know how to do that so let's learn okay <laughs> so it says you cannot get mad at your girl for expressing what upsets her even if it isn't deep to you it may be for her you should always validate her feelings yeah that's like common sense yeah and it, it, it would almost be like more impactful or even worthwhile making this video if he maybe sat down and talked about this or yeah maybe just didn't fucking check himself out so much while this text is playing <laughs> and he oh let me just get my fucking shoulder into this in the clip real quick right so yeah just valid you better like validate your fucking girl by the way <laughs> This dude solved the problems of sexism with this one video. One deltoid at a fucking time. Come on. <laughs> 
he has the most caring, kind caption, and they're just checking himself out the whole time. It's yeah. the most like it's the ultimate fuckboy persona of just like trying to be like, girls, I'm for you, by the way. I am. Did you check out my apps? <laughs> it's it's also just like the most uh surface level comments ever. Like obviously y- you should be empathetic towards your significant other. Like that's just common sense. If you don't have human empathy, then you know, you're probably not the best boyfriend. <laughs> He, he got actually so got good. me. He, he got, got me. I was like, I'm so sorry. I I should never have said anything Dude, wrong. Dude, I about felt you. so bad for a second because we're. I prayed on his downfall for sure. A guy who's six foot nine, dude. Yeah, I was like, damn. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. And then he was drinking champagne, and I uh, fuck you. You don't deserve that champagne. I do. Then he did the psych, you gremlins. <laughs> dude, that's what we are. We're just little stinky little little fucking gremlins. Yeah, that's all we are. We don't go to the gym. We don't work out. We're not worth this time. Okay. <laughs> I what was it? I don't need hoes. I don't I don't want hoes. I just want a queen to build an empire and empire with. Yeah, yeah, like back, well, back in the fucking Mongol times. <laughs> comes, I want to destroy my enemies with my empress beside me. And also, can we just stop referring to girls as like hoes? Uh, I don't know. That doesn't sit right with me. I feel like the girls he's talking about are just girls that like don't want a relationship and he's just like wants someone who wants a relationship, which is like, okay, then just say you just want a relationship. Like just, just say that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, such a, it's such a fucking cringy way of saying, man, you know what? I'm ready to like settle down and probably yeah. have a girlfriend soon. No, I, I want to destroy this tyrannical establishment <laughs> and I want to build my own empire from the grounds above. Like what? I, like I want to like I need a fucking... queen to build my empire with. It's like the, it's like those fucking Instagram motivational things where it's like behind every successful man is a stable queen or some bullshit like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he sounds like a fucking like anime villain. <laughs> So now we know he knows he's hot. I don't like him staring at me like that. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, skip, skip, skip. But like, who's showing these pictures to their friends? Oh yeah, guy, I've been seeing this guy. He's, he's kind of cute. And it's just a picture of him fucking in a Speedo, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dad, like, this is my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dad, he doesn't take any other pictures. He has not taken pictures with clothes on, maybe two in his lifetime. Jesus. Oh, oh so this this I love him so much because he's so politically woke, dude. So yeah. <laughs> that's him? That's Did the... you just assume their gender dude? Thank so you for being them. so politically woke. We really appreciate the He's six foot nine. He's ripped. He understands people's pronouns. Get him his queen and his empire already! Yeah, come on! Why is he still waiting? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you know, that's that's awesome for you. I'm I'm glad you were able to like be more secure about yourself. That's great. So happy for you. I'll be completely honest with you though, like at some point it's just like too much self-security. And sometimes we don't want to see you being so secure all the time because what if some people are insecure and they're like, man, fuck, this makes me feel like shit. <laughs> like, fuck. You know what I think it is? If you're insecure when you're bought, like I think everyone Body wise, it's completely normal to hit the gym a little bit and you see some results and you're like, damn, I'm a fucking, I look good and you get a little bit more confidence from that. Yeah. But if you're vastly insecure when you're not in shape and you're fucking think you're the fucking God when you are in shape, I think that says a little bit about your fragile ego. The fact that it's literally what stands between you being a dickhead and a cocky, like, this guy and being insecure is a fucking pair of abs then i think you have to look yourself in the mirror not like how this guy does and <laughs> actually take a look at yourself and be like damn is there some intrinsic thing i need to work on or is it literally 
the, my arms that are fucking gonna be the only thing, my redeeming factor here. No, that that is very true. Again, I'm not no psychologist. I, I can't, I don't, I don't have any cred- credentials. I'm just an idiot on the internet. I mean, I mean, I'm, I went to fucking cop school. I went to police <laughs> training. I went to the police academy. Okay, this one is a TikTok and it says, well, they're all TikToks, fucking obviously it says it's a blessing from god that i'm able to have a car like this i'm just waiting on god to bless me with a passenger princess to blast bollywood music with this dude knows his audience i think that's why a lot of people are calling him the reverse avanish because it's almost like he's catering to brown people too much like he's doing it because he knows it'll get him views and comments like you shouldn't hate your own race but at the same time it's just the bare minimum to like want to be with someone of your own race like that's the bare minimum <laughs> yeah that's true it's also just funny that he's just like he treats tiktok as like which a lot of these like fuck boy thirst trap guys do as a dating app that they're like post their redeeming qualities on there like every tiktok so they're like got, got a nice car back there got a nice breath car back there if you want if you just want to hop in it's an s5 s5 by the way get in here like that's what they're posting they're posting things that are gonna make girls want to be with them i guess and is that the point of tiktok now yeah tiktok is the new tinder actually i don't know it also feels like a lot of like self-projecting like maybe he's not as secure as he thinks he is because i feel like do you really need to like gloat and post your shit when you really are secure like who do you need to show i don't know yeah that's true actually but do you have an s5 fuck i don't Damn it, I do have a tech deck, though. This shit, I uh, saved up after the police academy, and I bought this tech deck. And I've been ripping mad kickflips on it ever since. So don't even get me started, dude. And, but, and I heard the appreciate appreciation value on that shit in five years. That's a fortune, buddy. I know. I know. Trust me. Wait, what? <laughs> What? I if Jeffrey Dahmer was Daisy. What does that mean? What, what is this? What, like, is that, what? what does that mean? Yeah, if what Jeffrey that, Dahmer was Daisy, he would do this. <laughs> what does that mean? If Jeffrey Dahmer was Daisy, and then right below him, it's a it's a video of him. If Jeffrey Dahmer was Daisy, oh, is he saying he would be? He Jeffrey would you would he would be you. What? what? That's not it. That's what? that can't be. That can't be. That can't be. That can't be. That's that's not, it can, not, no, not. there's no way. And then the caption says, do you want some cha? Which cha in Punjabi is tea. So is he... What is he... I don't want to assume anything. I don't know. If you make a TikTok about Jeffrey Dahmer... Then, then, then I think we're fair to question your motives here. Yeah, no, definitely. So yeah, everyone in the comments, please give your theories as to what this fucking TikTok means. Jesus Christ. Okay, this one... <laughs> All right, this is going to be the last one we watch of um, Six Foot Nine. Good you. Um, oh, God. All right. Why are women that go to the gym so intimidating? Like, sorry, muscle mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That's funny. <laughs> muscle mommy. When are we working out? Are we going to PR together? Are we going to raise some aesthetic kids together? What the fuck does that mean? What are aesthetic yes. kids? I didn't know kids were part of your <laughs> yeah. background aesthetic. Like, you don't even have kids <laughs> to have hilarious. kids anymore. It's just having That's kids to your Instagram feed. Bro, bro, I, my baby my baby girl's gonna be is due next month. My Pinterest gonna go fucking crazy, yo. <laughs> if my kid doesn't pop out of the womb with an eight pack and biceps, I am gonna put it back. How do I, how do I just stuff it back in that shit? <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, man. Muscle mommy, dude. Muscle... Muscle mommy. Okay, that was six foot nine. Good you. Again, nothing, you know, nothing like inherently immoral or wrong. Just a lot of like cringy stuff. So the the dude that was with six foot nine, good you in the last TikTok, his name is Kenny, like I mentioned previously. He, you know, like the other dude, doesn't necessarily do anything inherently wrong, but he just, he makes a lot of like gym thirst traps. And I just, find them really fucking funny so we're gonna watch a few of them and check them check them out yeah i've been lacking motivation for the gym recently so maybe this could uh prove worthwhile to be honest okay 
God, stop looking at me like that, Jesus Christ. I feel like a, a lot of gym, like, TikTok accounts, like, make content that caters towards, like, gym people. But it's, like, actually, like, either, like, showing you how to do a specific workout or actual, like, gym motivation. This just, like, makes me feel like you can see me a, through my like, clothes. Actual rep? I don't even think, I don't even think he did an actual rep. Can you play that back? There you go. <laughs> So he just did like one, whatever. But you know, that just goes to show that like, I guess he has a cameraman or like brings a tripod or whatever, just to film a <laughs> thirst trap in the gym, which is just- Of one so... rep. He's not yeah. even actually like exactly. working out. Like, Yo, let me just get, let me just do it. Okay, let's let's pack it up. Let's go home now. Yeah, right. Like, what what does this bring to TikTok? That's the thing. It doesn't. It isn't like there's no effort. There's no like you know gym motivation. Like there's no like you showing people how to do specific gym workouts. You're just like looking seductively in a camera and then making me feel like I'm being harassed and in a public gym too. <laughs> like imagine imagine going to the gym. And, and just looking at the camera like this. <laughs> no, but e like even worse than that, imagine going to the gym, doing reps, and you look over, and this motherfucker is like making out with his eyes to a camera. That would distract I, I me. The, yeah, and I want to know what the cameraman is doing. Like, what is the like? This He's is just a definitely jerking like, off. Okay, so just gonna, I'm gonna fucking just get the fucking angle right here. Like, you're just gonna. Uh, <laughs> oh, forget. Just, <laughs> bro, you look so fucking sexy right now. You're fucking jacked, bro. Fuck. I'm trying to be like you, honestly. Fuck, Kenny. What is that? What was it? What is that? I guess it's like some sort of like filter that tells you like what your red flag is and his is aggressive and nervous. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, I'm just a really aggressive, nervous person. How are you aggressive? I'm like, nervous, really dude? aggressively nervous. <laughs> like, like you're like, you're, like trying to start a fight, but I'm, I'm, so, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> that is actually every fuck boy though. Let's be honest. They're all aggressively nervous. Aggressively nervous is the perfect way to put it. They're like jackasses because they don't know how to act in like certain situations. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is going what on? <laughs> what? I'm having a fever like dream a right now. I, can we just acknowledge how he smiles so creepily? Like, you can stop smiling. Like, you can stop. Also, sir, I know what you're doing here. We see it. We see the jawline, by the way. Yeah. He's I like, if I just go like fucking. Do you guys, do you guys see that shit? It's, I'm just, I'm just gonna. You see that right here? Like, yeah, kinda, like, right yeah here exactly. Somewhere. But this is what I'm saying. Like, could you imagine being in a gym and seeing this? <laughs> God. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna if you're gonna remove like the song behind this for copyright reasons, but if you are, I'm just gonna give the people back at home. Um, I'll like, transcribe it. the The lyrics are "slut me out." <laughs> <laughs> "Slut me out" four times over again. Also, the fucking the fucking co comment Andrew Garfield as Spider Man. He looks nothing like Andrew Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wait he Loki does, does, does what? No, he does not. I think she's saying with the glasses. But it's still no. <laughs> it's still no. I don't know. This is just like your average thirst talker, I guess. Again, there's nothing, you know, inherently wrong with this content. It's just makes me uncomfortable. How did this make you feel, Arkham? Oh, like shit. Like a, like a, like horrible, kind of. <laughs> like, I almost kind of like never want to do this with you again because I, not only do I feel a little like shit about myself, I also just yeah. feel kind of shit that like so many people watch content like this and think it's funny and think that it's like worthwhile. Yeah. So this is what you're saying right here, Sachi. You wanted to show me the three largest TikTokers that are brown. Well, yeah, the three guys that are the like at the top of brown TikTok. Right. So then, brown TikTok is a place that I don't want to go. Then. Is that yeah. Pretty much. Mean? Pretty much. Yeah. I just want to like steer steer clear. Steer clear yeah. if you can. Steer clear if you can. Yeah. It's crazy because like none of the content is good. <laughs> I am proud of, as a brown guy, think that we're pretty funny. There's a, there's a lot of funny brown people. There's a lot of, like, talented brown people, smart brown people. Yeah. And this is the best we can do. I know. We can, The best we can do is open our mouths and then put the Indian soundtrack behind, in yeah. our fucking throats. Right? That's, that's the best we can do. No, exactly. As an influencer who also happens to be brown, I think I think we can do better. Okay, I think we can we can provide more like I don't know maybe if you're gonna if you're gonna make jokes Maybe don't be racist in the process like think of some creative shit put some effort into it If you're gonna make gym content like I don't know maybe just don't make it just thirst traps I don't want to have to like feel like you can see me naked while you're working out Like that shouldn't be something I see on my for you page every time I'm on TikTok. It just 
that just shouldn't happen. Anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching. We cleaned up this fucking town. We really did. As the only brown cops ever in America, we we did our duty. We did our job as American, as brown people. <laughs> you said duty, dude. You said duty. You did say it. My bad. Again, you were saying something? You were saying something? You are talking about me? <laughs> uh, please go check out Arkham's channel. He's, he's like, pretty funny or whatever, I guess. I'm, like, 5 out of 10 funniness. <laughs> Fine, you, you have yourself on a scale rated. But, yeah, make sure you guys check out his channel. Subscribe. Yes, me and Saji have a video together, and that'll be out either by the time this is out or maybe soon coming out. Yes, I will yeah, link that in the, in the description if it's already out. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram. Check out my Patreon as well. I do a tiny podcast every month. It's lots of fun. Go check it out. And we will see you guys next time where we take to the streets as the brown people police and we enforce our laws phys physically onto people. That was a joke. These fists are gonna no, hit no, your it's, face. It's, it's a joke, Arkham. It's, it was a joke. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got riled up, dude. That's yeah, it's thing, okay. But... It's okay. Bye. Bye. Patreon time. Tier 2 patrons, Big Guy Mal, Jam, John Grubb, Matthew MacLeod, Ruth, Samir Truesdale, Sav C, and Sophia Vanella. And Tier 3 patrons, Adeline Grubb, Edgar Rangel, and Lysander. Thank you guys so much for becoming patrons. Really, really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.